Dragon Milinkovic Fimon is a director, producer and drama writer. He graduated from the Belgrade Drama School and won his master's degree at the Faculty of Philology of the University of Belgrade. For more than 30 years, Fimon has been an active member of International Center of Films for Children and Young People and other international film associations and organizations. Fimon is the creator of a number of feature films and documentaries. In recent years, he has also been an executive director of the International Festival of Alternative Theatre. Thank you very much for your time for TV Bricks. You are part of the jury for many international film festivals and you have experience in organizing and creating large-scale cinema events. Have you ever participated in film festivals with your own works? Tell us about it. First of all, здравствуйте. Dragi друзья, it's my big pleasure, it's my honor to be in here. I've been already in this room. And uh, what to say, I am all my life in the media, in the cinema. I started as an actor and director. I've been participating in some festivals, but mostly national, even some prizes, but Already being in the 30s, I felt that my mission is in the field of pedagogy. That's how I started to uh, research, to learn, and to uh, understand the meaning, the advantages and also bad part of the new uh, picture civilization, moving picture meanings. As a director, what topics would interest you in communicating with the audience in the language of theater and cinema today? I have no favorite topics. Everything could be interesting if uh, done, made on creative way. So we used to say that camera has the eyes which can't cry. But I believe in some hands and mind and vision, even camera could cry. That's in what I believe. Creative camera, those who are able to transform they vision in their brain, in their heart, into the screen we are watching on, using camera, using all the technological equipment. Creativity is the most important. Subject is, there is nothing new. There is only new ways of talking of something already told thousands and thousands of times. What trends do you observe in the development of world cinema today? Oh, it's a lovely question. I, I am talking to my students and to my colleagues. Uh, now there is a trend which is very welcome. That film is talking about life. That the cinema should become the life itself. It's a life reality. It's what is concerned uh, our reality, our civilization, our future, human relationship, family, love, tradition, history, Drusia. On the other side, we have those technological uh, product based on modern, excellent, very efficient technology, which is going in something which is uh, a new creativity, new life, modern expressions, something which is uh, in the field of mystification of, of uh, uh, media and cinema contents. I am not in favor of many of those experiments, may I say. 
but young people like very much, and it's good. They have to pass this path to, to have this experience and understand there is no parallel life. There is on, only one life, one touchable, one life when eye contact is uh, functioning. If I don't see the eyes, if I can't feel the energy, and in most modern uh, artificial movies, I'm called, sorry to use this expression artificial, but it is artificial because it, it's mechanical. It's unexisted. It's from some kind of or imagination which can't be happened in the life. And cinema for me is the life. Cultural cooperation between Russia and Serbia is expanding every year. How do Russian and Serbian industry representative interact? Uh, good enough. Or better, to be more precise, not enough yet. Opportunities are huge. Russia is a very big country with huge opportunities. Many artists, lovely schools, good history, um, literature, music, ballet. I believe there is one more possibility besides our filmmaker uh, meeting on festivals. There are plenty of Russian artists who are very popular, very accepted, very good friends of Serbia coming and going. As I told, I don't believe it's enough and I see a good opportunity in cultural exchange in the schools. Universities. Russia is having excellent schools here in Moscow, in St. Petersburg. Why not to give opportunity to very talented Serbian, why to, not to send also Russian students in Belgrade to learn more, in particular, Serbian culture? This exchange should be more efficient and larger and somehow give. Uh, uh, direct support to those who are talented, who are there in second and third year of studies. And somehow introduce the subject of uh, Russian cinema into curriculum in, in Serbia and opposite side. There is something uh, important, I believe, for new Russian filmmakers. It's Black Wave in Serbia. Very talented people who did the history, not only history of Serbian and Yugoslav cinema, then history of Slavic cinema, of Orthodox cinema. Opportunity are there and it's up to us to use, not to have project by project, accidentally, dependently on individual initiative. I believe on the level of uh, Ministry of Cultures should be more effort to approach what is already uh, uh, approachable, friendly, even brotherly. We have so common uh, things to do together. Speaking of the film industry of BRICS countries, what unites the films created in Russia, China, India, Brazil and other Alliance member countries? I like your expression BRICS film industry, which doesn't exist. We are on the beginning. And I like this expression opportunity I use several times. It's the chance for us. This is a global movement, which is not only political, economical. It must be, and it is cultural too. And in modern culture, uh, media is dominant. Opportunities are there, film. Everything started with film, with cinema, kino. It's our task, it's on the table. How to establish something which could be called BRICS film industry, it's my hope. I believe it's possible. Cooperation, let's stay together and find new ways, and there are plenty of new ways. Okay, let's uh, continue um, uh, talking about uh, films uh, made in BRICS countries. Uh, by the way, uh, maybe you name uh, some uh, works uh, that uh, impressed you in last time. 
I'm not going to disclose any special name because there are several names, not to have any kind of jealousy, but I will tell exactly uh, what I feel. Russian film industry is uh, coming back to their roots. The same is happening in Iranian film industry. Really. They also have very good schools in South Africa. May I orientate a bit uh, uh, my attention and my thoughts toward this country? In my life, I didn't see any country so energetic, so positive, with this uh, level of uh, developing in all fields, and especially in, in the culture. I know the people over there. As I told, I'm not going to mention any name of the film and the personalities, but I met the people who are unstoppable. I believe in Brazil also. I believe in all countries, name by name, that they are now open-minded more than before. Creativity, freedom, imagination. Let's do that. That's what we need in, in BRICS uh, future culture, common culture. I really believe in that. You are developing the idea of, uh, of a film festival whose participants uh, will be industry representatives from BRICS countries. How do you envision it? <laughs> How will it differ? Yes, yes, I am talking to my close friends to those who, are, uh, who believe in future, and I strongly believe, big changes are, are on the stage, on the scene now. And I believe really that a kind of, of BRICS Film Festival is possible and necessary. I know there is a, a, a selection of BRICS festivals, uh, and that's good. That's good for now. Why not to think about something new? Not bricks, not one more film festival among thousands and thousands, but one festival which could be essentially different and not to be different because difference is good. No, to be uh, more effective, useful, not local, not national, global. I believe. In fact, the documentaries are the biggest chance for us. Document documentary is the life. Documentary is the basis for those who pretend to make feature films. They have to learn. Business, job. It's about the skills. The reality is how, what, do I have capacity to make a uh, film and to present and to suggest as much as possible of your personality, your face, your energy, your habits, your language. Film, cinema, and all media should be a uh, international common language, Esperanto. Okay, <laughs> it was very emotional. <laughs> oh yes, uh, because without emotion, the film is cold. How's international children's uh, cinema developing? Uh, um, you have been working with children's and the youth cinema for several decades. Uh, how has the situation changed over the years? You know almost everything about my activity. Thank you. Uh, yes, special attention we have to pay to our children. I must say, with big sorry, that we don't pay globally enough attention to the children and young people. Those technological discoveries, uh, those big, huge, and terrible changes in producing softwares and programs for children, which are not always well uh, prepared and useful for them. Of course, internet and media are 
necessary. We can't imagine the life. Children couldn't survive without the uh, 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 small screens. They couldn't survive. But what we did after 70, 80 years of existence of this new language, this is new language, which they don't understand. They are allowed to, to download everything because nobody is explaining to them. There is no film, media subject, subject in the schools, our children. We must start to think about them systematically on the, on the uh, city, region, state, and, and BRICS level. Children deserve more attention. That's the biggest maybe chance of, of BRICS cultural activities in the future. To protect, to help children, to give them orientation and to save the family. Film adaptations of literary works are something that students always watch, but often the same book is adapted differently in different countries. What is this related to? Perhaps you touched on this aspect in your doctoral dissertation. It was many, many years ago. Yes, I like this subject because it's important. It's how artists are inspired. There are plenty of painters inspired by literature, musicians. So everything could be inspiration for talented people, for those who are able to listen their inner voices. Normally we say it's not when uh, seeing a ecranization of a novel. It's not the same as in book. That's very good, it's not the same. It can't be the same. It's about two languages. The book is finished. It's already one art artifact, which inspired new artists, different artists from other art to make a new independent art, if any of that. Inspiration is acceptable. There are Again, two ways to make, uh, to approach the book or any kind of inspiration. Music, passive and active. To make illustration, there was a movement in the past century, let's say in Hungarian uh, uh, cinema history, to, ecraniza, uh, to make ecranization of all known classical novels. Inspiration, yes. In many cinematographies, they are taking only one hero, one event in the book, making a new vision, visions, to develop good writers, are those who are provoking the visions, you know. When we are reading, we are seeing the movie, because they are suggestive. We trust in them. That's the main criteria. Do we trust in new uh, product, artistic, uh, uh, artifact or not? Is it touching us? Is it war and peace as the film? Book one thing, film. Music another thing. Everything is, is to be acceptable and, and to have tolerance for that. In different nations, one book, one subject is treated differently, dependently of their own culture. That's what we need. How Japanese are seeing the things? How Chinese are? How uh, African people see the things? What tradition, what uh, common life is for them? And what friendship is for them? That's what brings film, future film industry, if any, and I believe yes. And festival, if any, and I strongly believe yes, and I have the courage to participate in this project, having some kind of an idea also. In fact, let me finish. The most important is idea. So really, thank you very much for uh, lovely questions. You inspired me. I'm, I was so enthusiastic, grateful, uh, 
to your questions and how you know uh, my life. Thank you, Dragon, for this beautiful interview. Thank you very much. My pleasure.